became so interested that I decided, okay, I'm going to start down this path and try to figure out how to do it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you my story of all the things I tried, and I'm going to show you the product that we ended up releasing, and I'm going to show you some examples now that our customers are using it. So there's two kinds of apps. <laughs> but uh, before I get into that, let me just tell you a little bit about who I am and where I come from and what I've been doing. Uh, my company originally was called Key Learning Systems, and we were originally a seminar, uh, personal growth, corporate uh, seminar company. We're about to have our 25th anniversary in April, and I delivered this seminar called Winning at Work uh, all over the country in about 10 major cities, and I created a tape package called Winning at Work and at Life, and then I actually ended up doing an infomercial, selling that on TV. But, but while I was doing it, I was learning, running my whole business. We were the, one of the first people to get a new Mac when it came out. We ran our whole company on the Mac, and I just loved the Mac, and part of my seminar was doing what you love. And so I just developed this whole passion for the Mac, and I started doing FileMaker in like 1988, when it was called FileMaker Plus, with Michelle or something like that. And uh, so on the side, while I was doing all this other stuff, I just was, I had no idea, eventually I would, you know, become a FileMaker developer, but I just, people started asking me to do things, and so on the side, I would, you know, do a few databases, and so eventually, when uh, I got tired of traveling all over the country all the time, I decided that, uh, and the internet was just starting at that point, um, I would, you know, create a new career, and I became a FileMaker developer, and uh, one of my first clients was Disney, which was sort of a way to break in, and then Amgen locally here was my next big client, and so I did a lot of different things for them. But eventually I decided, you know, because I had like all these projects going with Amgen, and they decided FileMaker, there's always this battle with them, so I decided I, it's not good to be totally dependent on one client. What I need to do is create a product. So <coughs> I developed this idea for a business system, and I started uh, taking all my custom jobs and compiling it into creating a product. And it's called the KeyBiz system. And now I have clients all over the world. We have uh, different markets. We are with distributors and wholesalers. We have a retail program called KeyPoint. We have a manufacturing program. We have equipment and rental. And we have professional services and a few other things. But these are these are our main markets that we're in. So that's just, just a brief background. but. What I mean, and I'll be showing that a little bit more when I get into my next session, which is called Module Design. But for right now, I just want to share this uh, mobile app with you because I'm pretty jazzed about it. So there's two things to understand with mobile apps. One, especially with the iPhone, is there's native apps and there's web apps. A native app... Uh, particularly with the iPhone, has, uh, you know, BlackBerry has them, Droid has them. Now all, all these phones, these smartphones now are coming out with apps. But it's not that easy to take your iPhone app and put it on the BlackBerry because they're based in different colors. Uh, iPhones, are the apps are developed in what's called Objective-C, whereas uh, BlackBerry is more of a Java-based uh, program. I don't, Android, I don't know exactly what that is. But, you know, the problem is each of these phones, I'm getting at the disadvantages before I even said the advantages, I'm sorry. Let me start with the advantages. The advantages of a native app is that you can use a lot of the features, like the GPS, uh, the Google Maps, the camera, the barcode scanning. All these features are available to you when you do a native app. Um, the other <coughs> next big advantage is that there's a, it's a, it's a really a game changer. You have immediately your one little app has a worldwide audience. So, um, you know, people go and they're searching for that thing, and they make, you know, you just put your keywords in, just like any web search. They find your app or other apps that have related apps, and before you know it, people find you, and you know, you have people downloading it from all over the world. So, to me, that's one of the most exciting things as a developer is having such a easy distribution channel. That Apple's done incredible <coughs> service by providing that. And, you know, the other uh, phones, you know, are, are trying to catch up to Apple. The disadvantages 
what I already said, you need to build a different app for each phone. Uh, you need to sync data uh, with a, uh, an actual native app. And you need to get Apple approval. I don't know if you follow the whole thing with the Google and their Google phone and how they couldn't get Apple approval and now they just came out with a web app that uh, is basically, uh, you can use that phone on your iPhone and it bypasses uh, all the Apple restrictions. And it's, you know, so that's like a big breakthrough that they've done it in HTML5. So a web app is something that uh, my clients like and I like because it has the ability to show up on any web browser, whether it's a web browser on your computer or a web browser on the uh, mobile device. So the capability of being able to do that opens up all sorts of possibilities, and I'll get into that later, how we've created one set of code, and then we just changed the CSS to work on all the different platforms. And I'll demonstrate that later in my presentation. The big advantage is it's live data. So I'll show you that. But you can just pull down on your contacts, your products, your sales, right on your phone, and you can edit it, and the salespeople in the field can uh, have their data, and they can enter a quote and boom, um, there's no separation. So, and then the other advantage I already said works on the desktop browser. And the other advantage is there's no distribution fee. When you do an iPhone app, you have to pay 30% to Apple um, for, you know, it comes off the top. So if you're splitting, your app is like $2.99 and 30% goes to Apple, you have to sell a lot to But a web app, like I'm selling my web app now, you know, for almost a thousand dollars. So, you know, Apple's not going to get any of that. But, you know, there's a lot that I do for the web app that get it to work. I'll explain that later. So the disadvantages of the web app is it doesn't have access to the features such as the GPS and the camera. Is one of, and so, you know, that's one of the downsides. And obviously the other disadvantage is that you don't have a distribution channel of Apple. So, how we started with this is I started by using the PHP side assistant. I had gone to several dev comp presentations and seen what it could do and I said, that, that's interesting. And then, you know, I would try to play with it occasionally, but I was so busy. But I decided one day to sit down and really look at this PHP side assistant. And it's actually quite impressive what it can do and how fast it works and what it's capable of. And they do have an iPhone theme. They have all these different themes. And one of the themes is uh, iPhone, and it's pretty easy to use. So I don't know if this is clear, but you know they have. So you can take the same code, and they can create a website for you, or they can create an iPhone application for you. And it works pretty easily and fast. You just basically choose your databases up here, then on your server, you activate your PHP engine on your FileMaker server. You don't need server advanced for this. That's another big plus of it. And uh, I'm sorry, you do need it or you don't need it? You don't need it. Don't need advanced. You can just do this with regular servers. Uh, you know, basically it creates all these uh, pages for you automatically. So you can have a home page, a search page, a list view, a report view, a browse view, uh, add a record, and edit a record. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to come in here, you're going to pull up your database, and you're going to pick off the fields and say which ones you want on the layout, you're going to organize them in a certain order, and uh, it's going to create all the pages for you. Quite amazing uh, that it's capable, you know, how it does it. So you'd have your list view, your detail view, what field you want, and it sort of like marches you through it. It's like a wizard. And uh, before you know it, voila, you have a uh, application. I mean, it literally took me less than an hour come up and I could get it on my iPhone and uh, here it is. Here's my home page. 